Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting here in the Harris Teeter parking lot with I'm picking up a baby bumblebee by Miss Rachel stuck in my head. If you know, you know. And uh, I stopped at a place that was recommended to me in our Facebook group, Saguaro's Burritos. They got big plans for this place moving forward. I'd heard about it and I do have a friend that goes there pretty frequently. Breakfast burritos are something that are lacking in Florence. And so I know in their menu they have a Choi Pollo burrito and that was the one that I wanted to get but he did not have that one available when I got there today I went right at the end of their operating hours I got the westerner which also does have the chorizo it's also got Valentina in it which I'm a big Valentina fan so I'm looking forward to this it is super hot I can tell you that really hot and I also got a couple of their pork tamales we try those out I figured I would get those. I went in Harris Teeter to get the Alive Cola that we talked about in a previous video. They don't have it anymore. So I got this lime made. It's purified water, lemon, not lime, ginger, pineapple with stevia and cayenne. And uh, I bought it because it was sitting there and the the like the rack that it was sitting on showed that it was on sale for like five bucks. I get it to register. This thing was $10. So I just bought it. I just bought it. I should have said, hey, do I get the uh, price for this being in the wrong spot? Let's try this real quick. Whew. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I got a Chipotle aioli. That's the sauce that I got to go with it. All right. So let's give this a shot without the sauce. Let me get one with the with this Chipotle aioli on it. Okay, so we got eggs, chorizo, onions, cilantro, lime rice. It's supposed to be Valentina. I'm not really getting any Valentina in this. So the uh, chorizo is different than what I what I anticipated. But it's not bad. The rice is cooked really well. And this is super hot and fresh. Now this chipotle aioli is where it's at. I mean, this is really good. So, mm -hmm. let me get one more, then I'm going to try one of these tamales. I like this. I would have really liked to have had the Valentina come through. I don't think there's any on here. So, I don't know if there was a mistake or what. There, I don't think there's any Valentina on this at all. But um, that, you know. Stuff like that happens. I worked in the restaurant industry for 10 years. Stuff happens. This is really good, though. And that Chipotle aioli really um, takes it to new heights. So I would say that if you're on the way to work, I see why my buddy stops by there. It's late June in the state of South Carolina. And again, if you know, you know, and the camera overheated. All right, so here's the deal on the burrito. I actually finished it on the way over here. And the cook on the rice is excellent. The creativity. They, there's not a... Because uh, I don't want you to take anything that I'm saying as negative. To my knowledge, I don't know that I could find a better breakfast burrito than that. Having only tried that one off their menu in Florence. So I'm positive on this. Uh, I don't eat a lot of breakfast. Just for the record, I usually don't even eat till the middle of the day. Um, but if I was, you know, like on the way to work or something like that, that would definitely be an option on my list. The only thing that I will say about it, and this is just personal preference stuff, is A, the Valentina, I didn't notice. It was unnoticeable. So I don't know if it was just a small amount and the rice, the eggs and everything kind of absorbed it. 
or maybe if that one just didn't get it, I'm not sure. And the chorizo was a different style than what I was anticipating. But overall though, it was still really good though. So I'm not mad at it at all. Oh yeah, and this chipotle aioli, you could even skip the Valentina and just put this on the burrito and that would be a really good option too. But it was packed with eggs and meat. The onions added a nice texture contrast to it. And like I've said a couple times, the rice was cooked perfectly. So two thumbs up for the burrito. Uh, good job, Matt, on that. As far as this, then we'll try these tamales. You know what this tastes like? If you made a batch of lemonade at home with a bunch of fresh squeezed lemons, I mean a lot of them, and then you put a very trivial amount of sugar in that lemonade and then about a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, that's what this is. <laughs> and honestly, it's 16% juice too. You see that? And honestly, I'm fine with all of those things. So it's cool with me. But I can tell you this would not be for everybody. And for $10... It probably won't be for me ever again either. <laughs> it was supposed to be five, which, which was still high, really. All right, so let's try this tamale. A red sauce pork tamale here. Again, flavor-wise, it's good. Um, again, a personal preference thing. The, the pork is almost minced there, you see. I came into it expecting, like, pulled pork, you know. But again, flavor-wise, really good. And especially with this aioli. I'm a big fan of this aioli right here. So I don't know if he's house-making this or not. Yeah, so my feedback on this is going to be positive, very positive. I would say if you're on the way to work... In the morning, um, I'm gonna post their, just a screenshot. Basically what you need to do is you need to follow them on Facebook. That's probably gonna be the best way to keep up with where they're at. He told me that starting in August, they got some plans to partner with DoorDash, Uber Eats. It sounds like they've been doing pretty well and I can see why, I mean, this is done well. There's, you know, obviously a lot of care and intentionality that's being put into the product that they're putting out. You can tell that by the creativity of the menu items, the thoughtfulness of the sauces and the ingredients and construction of the of the actual items or at least what I had today. I would say if you're a breakfast eater, you're into breakfast burritos and you're influenced, you're definitely going to want to stop by and give these guys a try. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm not disappointed in that at all. So go by and check Matt out, Suguaro's Burritos. You can keep up with them on Facebook and find out where he's going to be located. I think their typical hours are 7 a.m. to about 10.45. And I'm excited to see yet another example of someone added to the crowd of people that are being intentional about developing the food scene here in Florence. We've come a long way. We got a long way to go. It's really exciting, though, that we are moving in that direction. I enjoyed this. They've got some different options. I think I'm going to go back and try a couple more of them, see which one I like the best. It's got my recommendation. If you do the same, I think you'll enjoy it too. Most of you probably don't want to buy this, but for the few of you that do, uh, try to catch it on sale and make sure it's actually on sale. I'm about to go inside and jam out to Miss Rachel's picking up a baby bumblebee. I won't hold y'all up any longer. And so y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.